Rapido. <laughs> Rapido. <laughs> so fast. He didn't see it pass. Walks off, watch me. Wow. I like this technology. Hi, sorry. Hi. This is a nice one. Really? Should we just go for a pee look? I think we need to look at vans in our price range. Well, we're getting scrappy odd. <laughs> <laughs> We need a new fan. <laughs> Good morning, YouTubers, and um, welcome back to the channel. Um, we're just about to head off um, to the NEC. We've got passi uh, press, press passes to collect. So um, we're going to go around, take a look, do some videoing of motorhomes and accessories. Um, should be a good few days. Um, we parked, we've picked a park up, Toby Carvey, which is seven minutes away, which is good. Um, Max is here as well. Hi. Okay. You can't. What have you got to say about Elder? Yeah, it should be good. Uh, should be a good show. We've not done any much vlogging really for the last uh, couple of weeks, to be honest. We've done little bits, but not much. So this should uh, get us back into the swing of it, and we hope you enjoy it. Stick around and see what's to come. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Hello. Just thought I'd come on and say, apart from the weather being shocking. Going on an outing wouldn't be any different without this. Yeah. Typical M6 this year. Okay. Typical M6. I hate the traffic. Oh. Open click. It's one thing I really hate. At least the rain's caught me a little bit now. It's yeah. been absolutely terrible all the way here, hasn't it? You know, it's been absolutely shocking. 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 Bloody hell. Wow. <laughs> We'll pick up more data if we see anything better. I think we're going to be stuck in this for a bit. Looks like it, now. Yeah. Never mind, eh? At least we're away for a few days now and get to go and see some nice motorhomes. And Max is shaking like and a... Ne you never up. know. We might come back with a new one. I do. I'll leave that <laughs> in the hands of Mr. Santa. Got Julie here, Luke, all ready. So we're here at the NEC now, we're just about to have a wander. Max has been a warrior. So we're going to go for, try and get our passes now. Uh, we'll take you along with us, see what's going on. Perhaps have a quick mooch around, probably won't do much today. After the big driver, a bit tired now, so we'll, uh, we'll see you in a bit. So I don't know if it's going to be a good sound on this or not, so we haven't got our cameras on at the minute, so we're just walking down the car park into uh, it's quite a few cars here today, so this is like midweek. A few motor owners up there, look. There's Jules. So, I think it says Hall 18, so we'll go into Hall 18, try and find out what's going on. It's, it has been raining all morning, but it's quite dry here now. It's warm anyway, so it's not cold at all. So we'll, uh, yeah, let's go. Let's do this thing. Perhaps get all the done today and have a couple of days off then, can't we? What do you think about that? I don't think so, it's massive, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. What did you say, Jules? What? Yeah. What did you say you want to do? Look in the Rapido? Yeah, I want to have a look at the Rapido, because I think we got it wrong when we bought it. <laughs> we went for a Rapido, but came up with a peeler. <laughs> Hall 6, 8, 10, 12 and 16. Motor and caravan show, Hall 17 to 20. Well, there's loads of halls here this time, look. So we've got motor home and caravan shows, Hall 6 and 8, 10, 12 and 16 and 17 to 20. Wow, it's a big show. A really big show this time. Good job we've um, booked to do a few days for the uh, motor home and uh, motor home caravan. Yeah, should be good. Right, let's go. Okay. Just go, it says Alec. Oh, van. Just go! I think I might have a go with that, you know. <laughs> I might have a go this yeah. time. What, driving that thing there? What do you have to do with it, Alec? 
Just drive to park it. Drive it, park it, show you how to do things in it. Drive on the road. Show you to drive on the road. We've got the caravans here again to, um, if you want to learn how to drive with a caravan on and reverse and all this stuff because a lot of people are quite nervous with it so you yeah, think you get free tuition on doing that. Jill says she might do the motor one because she's not drove this motor on the road. Yeah. So we'll soon see anyway. That's it, exit only. So we've uh, been to the press office, got our press passes. Who's my mic? Julie's. So we're off in now and we'll just uh, take you with us for a walk around. Just don't know where to start. Where are we starting? Which way? Let's find, let's find. Go clockwise or anti clockwise? Let's find the Rapido. Rapido? Let's find the Rapido. Ooh, let's hunt the Rapido. Doom, 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 doom. Hunt the Rapido. So one of these, one of these for the motor room, yeah? Posh, wasn't it, though? <laughs> Adds rear. I wonder if they come down in price now, this year. Any prices on this one? M37. Adorno. Wow. <laughs> Should we walk all the way up, then walk all the way around? Checking me in different directions. I know, sorry, has Don much? Just through me. Hey? Mm -hmm. No. off a goodie bag if you want. Ooh. Wine Mania. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Well, that would be it. Yeah, we're coming here somewhere. It's big. I would definitely recommend, if you're the first time coming here, I would come in the middle of the week because it's um, a Wednesday today and it's really quiet. And last time we came was Friday, Saturday and it was absolutely manic. Oh yeah, have we seen that already? Did we see that one of the one shows before, the Laura? Um, Warner Brothers. Yeah, one of the morning shows, yeah. Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers. Yeah, so like saying that, if it's your first time here and you want to get a good look round. Rapido. <laughs> Rapido. So fast. You didn't see it pass. <laughs> yeah, so I'd definitely come uh, midweek if you can. For the first couple of times anyway, because it's, it's a lot quieter today. I say it's Wednesday now. What time's it now? But one ish. Yeah, it's gone one. About two o'clock, actually. Oh, it's gone quickly. It's two o'clock already. Yeah, two o'clock on a Wednesday, and it's pretty quiet. Might have been a bit busy this morning. Who knows? Julie's getting naked already. Look. Ooh, Julie's getting naked. Stop singing. <laughs> Oh, got them. Glasses. Oh. There's lots of little stores here, but mega caravan engineers here. So if you want your engineer done, your caravan, your hub checks and stuff. Chuck me, beds and curtains. Keep Julie away from there. Definitely. Oh. To keep you away from the beds and the curtains, you. What's this? Spare line limited. Spare time pocket. That's what we need, but there's nowhere to hang one. What's that? It's a time pocket. Oh, yeah. It's good, that actually, yeah. Not at £65, it's not. <laughs> Them before. Not them ones, we've got no, the, old, well, the old type ones. Yeah, well, the, the advantage with the card safe is it's just one card, and you put that card in your purse or your wallet, your card holder, it doesn't matter where you put it, front, middle, or back. And that one card creates a nine centimetre shield. 
and it protects all of your cars. Oh, so, okay. so the advantage yeah. with the car saver is you're not having to buy a special purse or a special wallet or a yeah. metal card holder. You don't need five or six of these fiddly little silver pouches. Yeah. <coughs> and guys, the way they work, the criminals use these devices to skim your details. It's an NFC reader. It's linked to my laptop. Uh, what these criminals do is they put these devices in laptop cases, rucksacks and hold alls, they target the places that are busy, they stand close to you, brush past you, and through your bag, through your purse, through your wallet, they, they can read your details. So when the light's red, it's not reading. <coughs> when the light goes green, it's taking information from the card to that laptop, wow. see. So what they can do, of course, is take money from you up to £100 contactless. But what they're really looking for is your personal details and your banking information stored in these cards. So anything at all that's contactless, any kind of credit card, uh, debit card, currency card. They spoke about this crime, <coughs> excuse me, only a couple of weeks ago on television. <coughs> and it was how much money criminals will pay for your details. And what they were telling in this programme is they'll pay a fortune for the details from your passport. All yeah. your personal wow. data is on here on a chip and it's contactless. So they can skim the information, they clone your identity and that, that kind of thing sells for fortune. So inside the card safe, uh, you've no batteries, it doesn't need charged, it's not a piece of tin foil. Yeah. There's a small circuit with an antenna. So it's very similar technology to what's inside the card. It's just yeah. like having another card in your wallet or your purse. <coughs> Excuse me, only what the card safe does, <coughs> that light's wow. red now, so it locks. Yeah. Oh, so it doesn't matter if it's back, middle, front, left or right, that one single card protects all your contactless cool. cards. So I keep one in my wallet, I've got five contactless cards in here, and that light's green, so it's reading information from those cards. Stick a card safe in amongst those cards, that light now stays red because it locks oh. the second you see. So if you're travelling, by all means, see it's reading the passport. Uh, keep one with your passport, put one in your passport holder. Uh, these passport holders we do here, guys, they've got the technology built in the lining. Mm. Oh, so nice. you don't have to put a card in. So when you're travelling, they'll hold a couple of passports, one either side, uh, cards and documents, all safe and protected. Oh, that's that's really they're, normally, yeah, they're normally 30, we do them for 20. And the card safes themselves are lying, catalogues, papers, they're, they're £20 each plus the postage. When we sell them here every year, we always charge 15 or we do two for 20. And if anybody wants two cards and the passport holder, that should be 40, we do that for 30 actually. Okay. So nothing needs activated, nothing needs registered, they're all good to go. Uh, when you throw the packaging away, our company website's on the card. Mm -hmm. And the last little thing, when we started selling them about eight years ago, we put a five year warranty on them, because that's roughly how long a bank card lasts. Yeah. They're, they're very flimsy, and uh, this is an awful lot more robust. So we found over yeah. the years that they will last indefinitely. If you want to check it's working, uh, you don't have to buy a skimming device. A simple way to test it, this is a contactless machine here. If you're in a supermarket or your coffee shop or anywhere and you're, you're buying, paying something contactless, if you take your payment card and your card safe and you hold them both to the machine, if the card safe is working, the machine will give an error message and, and not take the payment. So this is working because it just gives an error, you see. So maybe once a year, that's a quick and easy way to, to make sure the card's still working. That's yeah. clever, yeah. Right, so we'll say 15, so we do 15, or two for 20, and I say the passport holders, they're 20, that's got it built in. Or we do two cards and the passport holders. Just stick it amongst your cards, leave it in there, and nobody can skim your details as well. It's a good idea, isn't it? Right. It's a cracking idea. What do you think, Jules? Cracking idea. Shall we have one? I think so, because we yeah. live in the motorhome, so yeah. all our stuff is. Um, Just a lot of us always live, so. Yeah, so we'll uh, put some of these, we'll put some of the details on our uh, channel anyway, so you can uh, come here. Hopefully get this video out tonight. <laughs> we'll be well, I'm quite slow with them, but there we go. We'll do our best and then come and see this uh, card safe. What, what's 1903? Is that stand number? That's me. That's me. Yep, 1903. Come and have a look. He's doing a really good deal, so you can get passport protector and two of these cards to go in your wallets to keep all your cards safe. Uh, £30 for all them. Bargain. Bargain. Yeah, so we're, yeah. me and Julia are safe now. We've got these card safes for uh, wallets. Quite a big thing for us, obviously, living in the van. We need to make sure things are safe, passports and things, even though they're locked up. You know, if someone could get near and skim them, they're going to skim all the information off your passport. Obviously, it's, you know, it's a big thing, especially if you're going abroad as well, so it might be really good to get one of these um, passport holders when you're abroad, take it with you abroad, job done, at least you know you're going to be safe. Right, so we'll, uh, we're going to test it later anyway, so we'll uh, we'll put like a, a little thing in after when we've uh, tested them out, but can't see there'll be any problems with them because he showed them was working. Um, five year warranty on the cards, but 
um, you, can, you can easily test them uh, as per what I showed you on the video so we'll put that up anyway and we'll see you in a bit I'm going to test the rapido <laughs> <laughs> what's this one here? flying horse flying horse one is it? oh lucky mm, nice Oh, no, nah, lucky. A luckier. Burstons. Still like the Burstons, I do. Nice Burston, really. Fully equipped, semi integrated model. Special show up for gearbox for 990 quid. Like a paint. Nice, nice like, yeah. Beautiful. So, quick look. So, we've got some Burstner. We've got a. Burstner Lyceo Time Skyline 690 on the road price 81,690. And you can uh, upgrade the gearbox to an auto for £990 while you're on the show. It's quite nice, yeah? Yeah. Has that got like, the steps up to it though, yeah? Yeah. Quite a thick mattress, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, see, you've got your fridge, built in freezer compartment. It's a nice oh, tall fridge, isn't it? Oh, safety net. Oh, safety net, yeah. Yeah. Look at this toilet, bathroom. No, so it's a built in shower room, Thetford toilet. Nice washroom, nice sink. I like that sink. I like the shower too. Nice little uh, storage space there. Nice size wet room, that with a good lip on the yeah. wet room. It's got a drop down bed as well. Well, looks like a single, that, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a single one and a half maybe if you're tight. Nice little L shape here. Quite compact, yeah. But it's done it for you, it's a manual. Yeah, yeah you can do the you can do the option upgrade for £990. That's what, good. Show price. Let's have a quick look at this bed. It's going to be have a quick do a three burner hob in this little beauty. Nice big cupboard space. Looks well made as well. That's nice as well. So your cooker, and then you've got your cutlery drawer, soft clothes. Really nice. Yeah, nice thick beds. So you climb up. Not too bad actually. Thick, thick, thick mattresses. A nice little cupboard here above. Goes all the way back. And like I said, the drop down bed there. A little cubby down there. It's nice, skyline. And this obviously got the new Fiat Dash in. Is it Fiat? Yeah, Fiat Dash. Just checking. Just in case I got it wrong. Rapido, so fast, you didn't see go past you. Table like you to. No way. <laughs> wow. It's good, isn't it? Look, look. Yeah. Oh, du double floor in this. Yeah. Proper double floor. Wow. That's a big fridge, isn't it? It's like ours. That's what I say, it's a big fridge. You know what I'm to say? Yeah, no. Nice. The only thing I don't like so much on these these content ones is the oven above, but it is what it is, isn't it? It's a nice bathroom. A different switch here for your shower lights and bedroom lights and stuff. Oh, will that tap of you light look? Oh, I want one of them. Yeah. Okay. This tap, Jew loves these. Woo. Drop down bed. Oh, we'll drop down bed over the cab. Beautiful. Mercedes cab. This is a beautiful bag. Look at the back. It's got its own shower. It's a beautiful shower, look. quite big as well. Quite roomy. I'll just jump in to show you. There go. I'm in here. I'm not a small bloke, but yeah, I can fit in here. Could have a wash. Nice. No. Oh, look at that. Nice toilet. Very nice. 
I think you got your. That's different, isn't it? Wow. It's like a magnetic catch when as soon as you pull it in, the catch comes out. Wow, that's weird, is it? Watch. Watch out, watch quick. Yeah. Well, I like this technology. Hi, sorry. Hi, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oldie heating. Nice. Wow. So that was the I66M we've just been in. It's a distinction model. Um, seven and a half metres long on an Alco chassis Mercedes. 2.35 metres wide by 2.95 metres high. It's 128, 500 litre Nice, that's on, on the Mercedes. Distinction. Distinction. The garage, nice big garages. Aldi heating the garages. Wow. You could fit a fair bit in that garage, couldn't you? Nine. Wow. This bed must go up and down this one then. Look. Yeah, look, it's got the hydraulics. Yeah. So look at this one. The yeah, I like it. Let's see with the repeater. What kind of price is this one then, Jules? Price? This is one four five seven, including what? This one a Mercedes again. This is just over eight meters long. Yeah, uh, two three five wide again, two nine nine high. And these are all double floors. So look, we we'll see straight through on it. So proper double floor divan. Oh, that's nice. Look at that induction hob and gas. And this in here, though. Another one of these taps again. Look at this. When this is down, that's the problem, isn't it? When this is down and it's out, you've not got much space, have you? To... No, not a lot, but that's a big bed, isn't it? Yeah, it's massive. That is a big bed. And also, like I say, that's so you, So when you're travelling, you've got all that extra space in your garage because you can lift the bed up, but then it'll go down another foot. So the bed's quite low when it's in the night position. Yeah. Love the little reading lamps by the bed as well. Mm. Same thing again above oven. Rainbow. What's that? I wonder if Rainbow. that changes the colour of the lights. Oh, don't know, maybe. It's nice, isn't it? It is a nice one. Really? So we're just going for a pee look. Bang it! <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sorry, not sorry. What's the sink like in this one? Deep? Oh, it's nice. I'm sure that would rattle when you're driving into it. I think you might. Oh, yeah, these Mercedes cabs, oh, I love these cabs. Look at that. It's like a little sports car. I think if anything, you're paying for the Mercedes cab. You're paying a lot for the Mercedes cab, wouldn't you? I mean, I don't know if repeater, do, they must do them on a Fiat cab as well, yeah? I like well, that. That is good. That's that nice is lovely. Like. Wow. wow. Now that's one big ass draw. They're the same, it's yeah? Good, yeah. Wow, you've got some storage space there in them drawers, everybody. Beautiful. And then you've got 32 inch TV up going oh, there. Oh, it's got one of them. Sold. Sold to Julie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can get 32 inch TV in it. I only bought it because it had that name. <laughs> and our bike's got the TV in a big garage. I think we need to look at vans in our price range. We're going to scrap yard. <laughs> <laughs> What's this one like? Then? That's got first two inch in there as well. Look. 606, 76. Looking down in prices, haven't they? I like this. I like this. Look. It's wow. just like ours. Wow, oh, that's nicer. That is just like ours, isn't it? Yeah. Wow, beautiful, what a shower, plenty of room, big bathroom, lovely sink mm. on top, 
Shower's massive. This must be pressed, I suppose. Yes, look at that. Nice look, hanging rails. I like that. Toilet holder there. Glasses. Oh, I love that. Little window in your bathroom. Yeah. Not enough, I've got these, I think. Little windows. Nice size lounge, does she? Nice size lounge. Ooh, that's going to be an Nice two burner hob there. Electronic ignition. I'm I'll see say, your bed I there. do like, I think when we was buying our van, I think we got a bit confused. Yeah, because we look for a repeat of the weren't we? Yeah. Looks like this, it's... Oh, they're deeper than ours, aren't they? Oh, nice. But I don't think it is as wide as ours, though. Um, I think ours is a lot wider here. Yeah, ours feels more roomy, definitely. Just feel it, more roomy. The bed in ours is bigger because it's straight out. Yeah. So the door must be slightly different on this as well now. Must be slightly offset, but... But this is just, it's just wide as the bailey, the, the pillops, the door. Yeah, the door, yeah. Oh my God. And there's a control panel, that's so you can have a 3 inch TV in this one as well. That's a good bracket, that, yeah. Love it. Nice. And it's got the Truma blown air heating in this one. And this one, a uh, manual, but the new Fiat cab. Nice. Little over red lights and stuff. Nice deep cupboards. That's nice. Little trimmer in there to hide it. That's quite nice. I like this trimmer in here. It's good though. Yeah, it's good though, isn't it? Yeah, it hides it. You know, you've got like this trim to it so when the bed's up, it hides it all. I like where the switches as well, to be honest. Tail must be electronic as well, is it? Wow, the table's electronic as well. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, it's rolling. Hey? It rolled then. Rolling. It's not a bad price that as well. No, it's good priced. Decent sized boot, yeah. Got a shower as well. Oh, I like where all the electric showers are on this. That way, all the electrics all in one place, all together, easy to get to. Everything. And then, say, being on the seats and stuff. Stupid place some of these manufacturers put them. I put them under a sheet. What a stupid place. Good, I like it. This one's Julius. I don't know why it's Julius, I don't know. But it's on a Fiat, so it's probably more of a price range. 854 there. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. That's alright, 86. 86. So this is just short of 7 metres long, same width 235, 289 high. Uh, Truma. 120 litre waste, 128 litres fresh. 2025 model is 93,290. I found the van. <laughs> just found a van. I thought there's loads of vans here. Just found one. Look at the garage. Wow. What a beautiful big garage. Nice. I like it. Same again in this one. Look. Electrics all there, all together, all where you can get to. And your water pumps, your cold valves, your, your hot to empty tanks, all dead easy to get to. Oh, nice, yeah. Was it really? Yeah. Well, I was in Yeah. I'm looking at them. What can I do, do fan? <laughs> Show price, show price, 93,290. Base vehicle, so that's base vehicle, and then you've got 
payload 430 so I'm presuming you can go up on that if you wanted to you'd have to ask them I suppose but I presume you could go up on the the white side of things I'm going to have a look in the next two seconds we'll come back to you so that's us done for today we've done about an hour an hour and a half so we're just going to head off now to the park up for the night try and get a bit of editing done hopefully and we'll uh, try and get that up as soon as possible for you so see you all soon ta -da now. Bye. Okay. and that was something else that slapped in the van we've um, booked a place at Toby Carvery um, it's free park up all the ask is that you go in and have a drink or have a meal and you can stay the night um, but we're not sure whether we're going to get on there at the minute so we might have to rearrange what we're where we're going to stay. <laughs>